Today I'll show you how to use Blue Devil Radiator Flush and does it actually work? Well I'll show you today as we flush this radiator. Look what's inside this radiator. This can definitely cause overheating in your car. Now let's take a look at the directions on how to use Blue Devil Radiator Flush. We will go ahead and add our Blue Devil to our antifreeze. Just as soon as we start pumping the antifreeze through the radiator, we'll go ahead and add the rest of the Blue Devil. I'm trying my best to keep the radiator at operating temperatures. The Blue Devil radiator flush states in the instructions to run this through the system for three to four hours. So we'll go ahead and transfer this from one jug into the other jug through this radiator. But in your car, you'll need to pull out a drain pan and drain the antifreeze into the pan while adding more antifreeze. Do this at your own risk. Because you need to make sure that you flush all of this cleaner out of the system. Make sure to let me know what you would like to see us try next. Another antifreeze flush or something else. Just subscribe to the channel and comment letting us know what you want to see for the next video. I'm really excited to see if this stuff's just a waste of money or is it worth every penny. But we're going to find out in just one moment. If you guys have used Liquid Molly Flush or Prestone or any other flush and had great experience or bad experience, make sure to let the others know in the NIA community. This way they can save their hard earned money. Because if this stuff doesn't work, it's just as important for everyone to know. We're finally starting to finish up. I'm ready to see these results side by side. Take a look at these hoses. You can definitely see a difference on these, the inlet and the outlet. Make sure if you don't know how old your coolant is to go ahead and replace it. Or if you look at your coolant and it looks great, or so you think, that's what happened to me. And I took a transfer pump and started pumping the radiator fluid out. Well, lo and behold, that stuff was awful. I couldn't believe it. So make sure you go back and check that video out. It's one of the first videos that I did. And surprising enough, it was so terrible. But you would have never guessed it by just taking off the cap and looking. Because all the contaminants will seep to the bottom or spots that are hard to get to. Surprisingly enough, we're starting to see a difference. Can you tell by looking at the inlet and the outlet hoses? And look at the jug that we pulled so far. This stuff definitely looks bad. But I'm curious to see what about by the time we finish up? How will this look at that point? Soon enough, we'll find out. almost there this is definitely worth the wait and if your car is overheating or hotter than normal temperatures this could definitely be a reason continuous improvements by looking at the inlet and outlet hoses Well, we finally completed this flush. Now let's take a look at the results in a side-by-side -side comparison 
step by step just how well this flush did in three flushes, three gallons. Take a look at these three stages, three flushes. Each time you can see a drastic improvement. Well, you guys think this is worth it? Thanks for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.